Welcome to the Nelthrop's St. Croix, in which I will guide you through the family's five favorite things on the island. We start from the back. Number five, Point Udall. Early birds, eager to catch either worm or a stunning view, can go to Point Udall at dawn. This, in fact, the easternmost place of the USA, and both locals and tourists come here to enjoy the magnificent sunrise. The Sundial Monument of Point Udall was built in the late 1990s to celebrate the new millennium. So if you're suffering from jet lag when coming to St. Croix, make the best of it and go see this place in the early morning. It's worth the detour and deserves to be mentioned in the Nelthrop St. Croix Guide. Number four, Wim Plantation. If you are the kind of person who likes historic grounds, and I know I am, Wim Plantation is a must see. This is a very well-preserved sugar plantation from the early 18th century. Back then, sugarcane, the base ingredient of rum, was by far the most important business in the Caribbean. It's worth a visit, and not too far from the Crucian Rum Distillery either. Number three, Frederickstead and Christianstead. The largest towns on St. Croix are Frederickstead and Christianstead. The former has a sort of rough charm, and the beaches, both south and north from the center, are some of the island's best. The latter, Christianstead, has a lot of preserved 18th century buildings to explore. Both towns offer nice beaches around the corner, as well as nice hangouts for serious after-beach activities, such as a Crucian dark and stormy. Number two. The restaurants. When you visit the island of St. Croix, don't be shocked over the vast amount of very good restaurants. You will not have to go far to find a good meal on this island. Food is here is great because there's recipes from the great grandparents and the grandparents and the daughter, you know? And it's the same recipe all those years. It's made the same way, you know? That's why it's good. Some of the Nelthrop family favorites are Off the Wall Bar and Grill, The Beachside Cafe, Kendrick's, Blue Moon, Via Morales, Savant, Bacchus, Duggan's Reef, Tutu Bene, and many others. These restaurants also happen to serve very good Crucian rum drinks. What a coincidence. Rum and cranberry? Rum and cranberry. Local Crucian rum. Everything I do, this monkey will do. Number one, Buck Island. When you come to St. Croix, you absolutely have to go to Buck Island. Take the ferry from Christian's death. It's worth every penny. This is where my family and I go to relax during the weekend. This is my brother-in-law, Rob Lowe. The Nelthrop family often comes out here, and when my father was young, Buck Island was quite a bit different. In fact, you used to be able to walk right along this shoreline and pluck lobsters right off the rocks. That's one of the reasons I think it's important to keep Buck Island as a national park because these fish are starting to come back and continue to come back and this is where they have a chance to grow protected in this environment. You can see a lot of pelicans here, sometimes even a hawksbill or leatherback turtle coming here to mate. But the most spectacular sights are below the surface. You can see some of the people in the background, they're going out snorkeling. And this is some of the best snorkeling in the Caribbean. You don't have to be a deep sea diver, you can come out and you can snorkel right around the island. It's just beautiful. And uh, like I said before, when you come to the islands, this is a must. This is, Crucian Rum is the number one tour, Buck Island's number two. Just kidding. Buck Island's number one. <laughs>